Yo, what is up guys, it's Tiago, and today I'll be showing you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to run sudo. So first of all, you want to make sure you have all three things that are required for this bot. That will include BlueStacks 4, Microsoft ODBC Driver 17, and when you are downloading Microsoft ODBC Driver 17, make sure you're downloading the 64-bit uh, version, not the 86. And then of course, you want the bot itself. Once you have all three installed, go ahead and open up BlueStacks 4. And I do believe when you open it up for the first time ever, you get a pop-up message saying if you want to log into your email. Just go ahead and say no and head on over here to the notification center almost in the top right corner. And if you have a message asking you to enable virtualization, I do strongly suggest you turn that on because it does make BlueStacks performance better and it makes everything just run smoother. And if you need help turning that on, just go on over to the Sudi Frenzy Discord, click on the prerequisites channel, and then click right here on the virtualization link right there. And it basically gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to turn it on. But if you do need help with turning it on, just ping any of us staff members and we'll be glad to help you guys. Alright, once that is out of the way, just open up BlueStacks again. Click on uh, Google Play Store and download Frenzy and Google Pay. Once you have both of those installed, open up Google Pay and just set up your payment method. And then head on over right here to more apps. Click on a uh, browser or a Google Chrome and just search up Google. Oh, my bad. Google Pay right there. Alright, open up Google Pay and go right here to addresses and add your address once that's out of the way go right here home open up frenzy so you just want to validate that your uh, info is saved your credit card and your address is saved so just click on any item you know it doesn't matter what it is click on the size and then click on buy google pay and as you can see my info is right there i mean you probably can't see it because i'm gonna get this blurred out because i don't want you guys seeing my address but all right now that that is out of the way Go ahead and open up the bot. I have it right here. So there you go. I have Studio right there. So you have the size tab right here. It shows you all the sizes. You got the uh, mode you want it on. So if you want test mode on or test mode off or test sale. Test sale, uh, you will have a test sale up here for the first time users of Frenzy. I don't have it because obviously I'm not a first time user. Having it on, it doesn't check out. It just uh, proceeds to like a certain part of the transaction and it just stops there. And then if you have it off, obviously it'll try to cop whatever you're going for. And then you got the timers. So this works in military time. So for example, if you wanted something at 11 o'clock p.m., that's in 50 or 46 minutes, I think, right now. So you put, uh, let me see, I'm really bad at military time. So I think you'd put 29, 59, 57. Let me put test mode on just in case. No, nope, uh, you'd put 22, 59. There you go. So as you can see, it's waiting 45 minutes and 16 seconds until it starts the bot. So typically, I would keep the timer like around, let's say, 5 seconds before or anywhere between 55 seconds and 57 seconds. I'd have it before the actual drop. And then you got precision. So basically, just keep precision the way it is, default, which is 0 0.9. The only reason I'd suggest you change it is if the uh, default precision is not picking up the correct size you enter. So, for example, if I click the, if I wanted a size four, and then when you run the bot, it doesn't click on size four. It clicks on like on size four and a half. Uh, that's when you want to change it. So, precision you can change it anywhere from zero to one, but don't move it way too high. Maybe move it like point uh, by. 0 0.92 or 0 0.93 or something just test you know do some testing with it so basically that's it with sudo and yes you can run sudo on multiple computers as long as it's on under the same ip which means you can't run it on servers or you know vpns none of that so another thing you want to do with sudo is when you first download it at every single update actually this is very important you got to take uh you got to replace the images basically so basically, all right, this is the sudo frenzy images folder right here. Most of these images don't work. Well, pretty much here, I'll highlight them all for you. That one. So all the sizes don't work, unfortunately. And then you want to, the enters won't work, and then the continue, and then the Google Pay, and then obviously the clothing sizes won't work either. You want to replace those. <clears throat> so uh, mine are already replaced, but I will show you guys how to replace them. So here you go. So first of all, the first thing you want to do is create a frenzy images folder. So for when every update, every update we get, you can replace the images just easier. It's much quicker. So I have it right here, my frenzy images folder. And these are all images that are brand new that I've taken that work. So what you want to do is 
when you open this up, the Studio Frenzy images, here I'll show you guys how to open it up. So you go to File Explorer, you go to this PC, Local Disk, Program Files 86, scroll down to Studio Frenzy, and there's images right there. So those images that you have default, uh, they won't work. So you want to replace them. So just have it open right there. I got it right here. Or you just want to replace them right here. You open up Snipping Tool. Let me show you guys right here, Snipping Tool. And then click New. Basically, so you need the black enter and the white enter. I see I have the white enter here. I take a screenshot of it. I'm not going to take a screenshot of it because I do already have it in my folder right here. And you do also want to name it exactly the way it's spelled here. So you can see like the black, the B in black is capitalized. I have the same. And then white, the W is capitalized. I have the same. And then basically once you have images of everything, you want to... um remove them from the uh, actual sudo frenzy images folder so just cop I mean just highlight all of them you can press control and just click on them and then press delete and then after that you go to your frenzy images folder you copy don't just drag it because if you do drag it you do lose them from your frenzy images folder that you made and the point of this frenzy images folder is so you can use these images every time for any new update because for every new update you will have to uh, replace images so this folder does make it easier so what you want to do is press copy and then you go right here to the new folder click anywhere in the folder and press paste it doesn't show here because I didn't actually press copy so once you have that done your uh, images should work so let me show you guys a test example right here alright so I'm at test mode on you gotta go to a alright this shoe right here let's see what size 7 is available alright so I'm gonna go for a size I don't honestly I really don't know if I have uh, the size 7 replaced because I don't replace all the sizes and you don't actually have to replace all the sizes you just replace the sizes you think you will go for but it is smarter to have uh, all the images replaced because you never know let's say you didn't uh, replace a size 7 and you're going for a size 7 on the drop it won't pick up any size at all because you didn't obviously replace the image so <laughs> right now we're gonna actually test it if I did uh, replace the size 7 so how you want to test it is basically you auto you see how it shows two enters you don't want that you want to have it so it only shows one. Oh, and I forgot to actually mention when you are taking screenshots it, it is very important that uh, you're paying attention to how you're taking it so for example I took my screenshots in a uh, windowed mode as you can see this is like windowed mode to me it's not full screen so I took screenshots basically like that it wasn't in full screen so oh I actually took a picture so since I didn't take it in full screen I have to run the bot in windowed screen the way it is right now so if you take screenshots in full screen like that you must make sure you're running the bot in full screen you can't like take images in windowed mode and then run the bot in full screen because it will not work. So just make sure you're uh, watching what you're doing. So all right, I'm gonna test it out now. So of course you want to have only one enter showing, and I'm gonna have test mode on. You can see I have the timer off. I'm not using timer, and there you go. So see, see, all right, it picked it up. No, it didn't pick it up because I don't have a size seven change. So <laughs> let me try a different size for you guys. What size do I have? I don't even know what size I have, honestly. I should have replaced all of them, but at the time I replaced them, they didn't have every size available. Alright, so as you can see, I have size uh, 9.5 replaced, and it stops right there. And also, I mean, it stops right there because it does not ship to my province or my state. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, uh, the images work right there, but it didn't work for the, uh, I think it was a size 7 or 7.5 because I do have to replace it. And actually, I'll replace it right now for you guys, look. So I'm going to show you guys. Slipping tool and new you want to take a screenshot of the size 7 right there and then control s as you can do control s saves uh, frenzy images and then you want to name it 7 because it's a size 7 alright and then you want to open the actual frenzy images folder this is my folder that I made the actual images this is the actual images so I got a size 7 right there delete it and then I'm gonna drag it right there. Oh, uh, I should have not dragged it. I just like, I'll cancel. I can cancel it. All right. So I just copy it and paste it. See, guys, I kind of forget to, you know, to not drag it myself. All right. Now let's see. If I run it now, size seven should work. 
what you don't really want to do too many tests because it kind of like freezes your account it's happened to me actually I was going for a drop and it got all the way to checkout and it says transaction error that's because I've ran too many test mode sales on it and it just like flags your account so let's see I'm gonna start at size 7 now as you can see if it, it found size 7 and success 1.94 seconds there you go so let's see what else do I have to go over I don't think or actually alright so during a drop there's gonna be a timer obviously for the um, shoe that's dropping so for example right here pretend this is or actually let me alright there you go so you see how there's a timer right there 59 hours 37 minutes so for the drop you don't want to start it like right here how it is you don't want to just press um, start right there because it's going to be searching for enter and obviously there's no enter there you want to stop it you want to start it so as you can see it says 59 hours you want to click on that uh, item and this is where you start it so obviously it starts 59 hours I don't know what time that is exactly from right now but you want to put the uh, timer on to uh, a minute a couple seconds before the actual drop and then it'll click on the enter here because the enter will show up like right here in the middle and then it'll start on its own with the timer and we'll click enter so I think that's it for today uh, thank you guys all for watching I hope to see you guys all succeed with uh, sudo